Welcome learners. Competition is something inherent in any marketing or selling situation whenever there are two or more suppliers of any product or services. In this video, we are going to discuss about types of competitors and type of competition in market structure. In the next video, we will discuss how this aspects affects our business and the strategies to be applied. The objective of this video are to help you understand the meaning of competition, identify the different types of competitors, describe the competitive structure and understand the parameters on which the competitiveness of a market can be analyzed. So let's begin with defining competition. What do we understand by competition? Competition in the field of marketing refers to the rivalry between companies selling similar products and or services for market share in a target market where the customers have similar needs and wants. The end goal between the companies in competition is to achieve revenue, profit and market share growth. Competition is a fact of doing business and can be seen in the form of price, quality, design, sales, location and almost every aspect of business process. This competition between business goes on in all markets. For example, there is competition among nations to get a larger share from the tourist generating markets. Airlines compete among themselves for a bigger market share and the situation among hotels is no different. Although the condition may differ from metropolitan cities to smaller cities and destinations. Similarly, if you are an entrepreneur or a manager, your business firm may be having competition with others. For example, in the aviation sector, a number of private airlines have started operations since 1990s open sky policy. This private airlines, especially the low cost carriers, LCCs like Spicejet, Indigo and so on, have taken away a substantial market share of Air India, erstwhile Indian Airlines, which earlier had a monopoly, especially in the domestic sector. Since then, Air India and previously known as Indian Airlines was compelled to consider strategies to face this competition from LCC. One of the strategies was to merge Indian Airlines with Air India, while another was to offer economic fares. So now we have different fare slabs in Air India to match the LCC fares. Similarly, a number of international hotel chains have started operations in India, and while few others are trying to collaborate with Indian counterparts to enter in the Indian market. Hotels and hoteliers in India will have to come up with plans and strategies to hold their ground in this spate of international inflow of hotels. As far as dest any destination is concerned, every destination is unique and it can't be duplicated. For example, one cannot duplicate Taj Mahal or Sunset at Kanyakumari at any other destination. You will have to go to Agra or to Kanyakumari to our sea and visit Taj Mahal and this beautiful sunset. Yet, tourists may decide to select and go to an entirely different destination. Instead of Taj Mahal, they may decide to go for Elora. Instead of the sunset at Kanyakumari, they may decide to go for the warm beaches of Puri or Goa. So similarly, the competition among destinations also exists. It depends on how and where we attract the tourist. In the tourism industry, competition has a different interesting dimension altogether. Because the competition is not just between the tourism service providers who compete with each other like the uh, transport operators or the hoteliers and aviation. Rather, what is seen in tourism is destinations compete with destinations, regions compete with regions and nations compete with nations for the tourist share, international global tourist share. In case you are not aware of who the competition is and do not have the knowledge about their strengths and weaknesses, then it is likely that a competing firm or in the case of tourism, destination will enter the picture and cut into your market share by offering products and services at lower prices or with value added benefits. Whether one owns a small business or a big one, 
one ought to know what competition they have and how would they counter it. Identifying competition is the key to remaining competitive in the market and is crucial to the survival of any business. So now let's see how we can identify competition. We can identify competition on the basis of uh, three variables or uh, on uh, the basis of organizations, right? It is appropriate to identify competitors for an organization in some detail. Competition may be understood with a wider perspective rather than having a narrow view about it. For obvious reasons, competition is one of the most significant components influencing the planning in any organization. Planning here refers to marketing planning. As nothing can initiate a change in plans more effectively as a competitive threat from a rival to a company's market position. Therefore, it is important to analyze and understand competitive situation based on the following. Type of competition, type of competitive market structure, and analysis of the information that we have. So, first, type of competition. Type of competition primarily discusses the type of competitors. There are primarily three types of competition that we see in a business environment. The first is known as direct competition. Direct competition usually implies that other companies are offering the same or similar products or services to the market as yours. This is a direct competitor who is offering the same product and services with the same target market and consumer base, with the same goal of profit and market share growth. In other words, direct competitors are targeting the same audience and customers as your firm and probably using a similar distribution model as your firm. A direct competitor is probably what most commonly comes to mind when you think of the word competition. Since such companies represent direct competition from within one's own industry. For example, uh, there are six five-star hotels at a destination and they will all compete among themselves to get the maximum share from among the tourists visiting the destination who would prefer to stay at a five-star hotel. Another example can be from the fast food sector where Burger King is now a competitor for McDonald's burgers in northern part of the country. They are both in operation in the fast food sector offering the same or similar product and services in the form of either sit-in or takeaway, and they are all in direct competition to each other. Customers usually will shop after exploring as many options as they can to fill their need which may include looking at a different service model or at times a different product altogether. This is where competition becomes a factor in the marketing plan of the organization. Recognizing where you have potential competition is a key factor in determining the strongest market for your business solutions. Indirect competition. Nearly every company is involved with some form of indirect con competition. Indirect competitors refer to those that deliver or sell products or services that are not necessarily the same, but they satisfy the same consumer need and share the same target market or audience. For example, again from the fast food sector, Subway sandwiches can be used as an alternative to Burger Singh or McDonald burgers. They are both fast food, both offer similar kind of products, not same, similar. Use the same kind of delivery system and almost always have the same customer target group. Similarly, KFC or Kentucky Fried Chicken and Domino's, for example, are indirect competitors. While both are considered fast food, KFC specializes in burgers and fried chicken while Domino's is known for its pizza. Ultimately, both of them are fast food and both are targeting the same consumer. Now, let's take an example from the aviation industry. SpiceJet is an LCC and it is competing not only with other LCCs like Indigo, but it is also a competitor of full-service airline like Air India and Vistara in the domestic airline routes. Now, the third type of competition or the third type of competitor that we see, it is known as replacement competition. 
A replacement competitor is one that is offering a product or service to the consumer that can be used instead of choosing your product or services. Replacement competitors, also at times referred to as potential competitors, are vendors who have the ability to replace the present product or services offered completely by providing a new solution. Uh, the most uh, amazing example of this is the smartphones that we use today. Smartphones have been used as a replacement not only for camera but also for watch and a torch. Smartphones have been considered to have the ability to provide totally new solutions to the existing photography needs of the customers. Now customers buy smartphones checking the resolution of the camera. So smartphones in some ways have replaced the use of cameras on a regular basis. Now let's look for an example of replacement competition in tourism, especially in the case of aviation industry. The LCC airlines especially faces competition from both other airlines as well as from other faster mode of transport such as fast trains. In the case of India, Shatabdi or Rajdhani trains and now we also have Tejas which are faster and provide food and comfort to a traveller might and at times do give competition to the airlines, especially for certain routes. Similarly, these trains like Shatabdi and Rasdhani have higher fares and face competitions from LCC as well as from road transporters offering luxury buses between certain destinations. They can both be replaced with complete something which is completely different from their own sector. Both offer transportation in the case of airlines trains, buses and airlines, three of them offer transportation but all three of them are from different area of transport, two are surface transport and one is air transport and they can easily replace each other. So that is replacement competition or potential competition that we have to think of especially when we are doing the pricing of a product. Now let's come to the second aspect or the second variable which uh, makes our competitive analysis work. The second variable is the type of competitive market. Uh, this is the type of competitive market structure. A variety of market structure characterizes any economy. Such market structures essentially refer to the degree of competition in a market. All these types of market structures do not actually exist as some of them are just theoretical concepts yet they help us understand the principle behind the classification of market structures. The main form of market structure based of competition are as follows. Popularly we have four of them. The first one is perfect competition. Perfect competition refers to the type of market where exists many customers and many sellers. These customers buy homogeneous though standardized products from numerous small businesses or sellers. Since no seller is big enough or influential enough to affect price, sellers and buyers both accept the going price. Features of a perfect competition are low or no barrier to entry and hence many sellers, dealing with standardized homogeneous products with no differentiation, customers may have a wide variety of brands to select from, Prices are fixed by the economy of target market or markets that is also known as going price. Individual firms have no say as the price is set by the industry as a whole. Customers buy the product based on the availability and will prefer buying the product from a nearest location. Any change in price will enable customers to switch to a competitive product. The price is determined by supply and demand factors. In the classic theoretical definition of perfect competition, there are an infinite number of buyers and sellers. For example, agricultural products in an open farmer's market which have many buyers and sellers, selling homogeneous goods where the price is determined by the demand and supply of the market. For example, if you go to a farmer's market and you see that farmer's market in India commonly also known as heart you will see that if they are selling uh, 
staple vegetables like potatoes onions tomatoes all of them will probably have similar or nearby rates or prices which is determined by whatever is the demand and supply of the market on that particular day similarly a commercial fisher person bringing his or her fish to the local market for sale has little control over the price he and she gets and must accept the going market rise that they have tourism sector can give the example of local transport like cabs autos and rickshaws that are available in large number both buyers and sellers are many but there are certain standardized prices for certain routes so although the autos and the taxis or the cabs and the rickshaws are many and the number of sellers and buyers are many they are Uh, selling homogeneous product yet there is certain amount of standardization as in uh, the an amount or the price for a particular kilometer it is fixed so that works in that way there are certain assumptions when discussing the perfect competition which makes it only a theoretical concept these assumptions are the products on the markets are homogeneous all the firms only believe in profit maximization there is no barrier and it's a free entry and exit for the market and the consumer's preference is only based upon availability of the product now comes the second type of competition or the market structure it is known as monopoly competition monopoly form of market structure is almost opposite to that of perfect competition in monopoly there is only one producer of a particular good or service generally no reasonable substitute is available but the number of buyers are many in monopoly market structure the supplier can charge whatever price they wish due to the absence of competition the revenue though is restricted by the ability and willingness of customers to pay features of a monopoly competition market structure are there is only one seller a single firm will control the entire market and can set any price it wishes consumers do not have any alternative and must pay the price set by the seller consumer loses all their power and market forces becomes irrelevant for example many drug manufacturers drug manufacturers refers to the pharmaceutical company here have patent on their medicines and are the single suppliers of that particular medicine or that particular formulation of medicine uh, we can also take the example of software companies for example microsoft windows operating system at this moment point of time is compatible with almost all the computer manufacturers like dell hp lenovo samsung etc so in case there of uh, operating system microsoft has a monopoly since other computer manufacturers will have to invest heavily to create a separate operating system so microsoft has a monopoly and there is no market risk involved in the case of tourism we can say that as of now only one company that is firm is offering the chance of traveling to space as a tourist to anyone from across the globe the cost and selection process of a space traveler is completely decided by the firm it is the choice of the firm monopolies are extremely undesirable however either a pure monopoly or perfect competition are difficult to exist in an open economy therefore it is the monopolistic or the oligopolistic situation which practically exists in the prevailing competitive conditions so let's come to this uh, third type of competition that is oligopolistic competition oligopoly exists in an industry when a few companies have a substantial combined share of the industry in oligopolistic industry the leading firms are stronger than the competitors to protect their market share in such situations the undercutting or increased promotional efforts normally serve specialized segments hence the industry leaders don't consider it worth competing for example business hotels and homestays do not compete with each other since both of them cater to altogether different target market and audience 
therefore each one of them need not exercise any tactical plan to attract others guests which will only lead to increased traffic of audience or customers with different demands which will actually in the long run cause problems to both the business hotel as well as to the homestays certain features of oligopoly are there are only a few firms in the market usually 3 to 5 dominant firms are considered the norm in a oligopoly competitive market structure there are various barriers to entry in the market and new firms find it difficult to establish themselves the number of buyer is far greater than the number of sellers consumers become the price takers oligopoly firms focus on quality and efficiency of their products to compete with other firms firms tend to avoid price war by following price rigidity firms closely monitor the prices of their competitors and change prices of their own products accordingly without diligent government regulations the firms collaborate together and they can use their combined market influence to set the prices and in turn maximize their profit example mobile network providers in india the mobile network providers in india primarily are nowadays uh, only 3 if we do not count the government owned bsnl these three are be the airtel uh, vodafone idea and reliance jio they are the primary three providers of network in mobile network along with bsnl uh, that is the government run organization the rate of the mobile services is being controlled by tri despite protest from the service providers the service providers have the opportunity to price them in collusion to with each other but since we have a government intervention in this case so these three private operators are controlled by the dictates of tri and the rates has to be fixed accordingly the fourth is the monopolistic competition monopolistic competition exists when there are many companies in an industry but none has any dominant position the term monopolistic indicates that each company maintains virtually a monopoly on a small geographic or otherwise market segment due to product service differentiation for example from tourism point of view each destination is unique but in a monopolistic situation agra with the taj mahal is a unique destination and can't be duplicated anywhere This is a more realistic scenario that actually occurs in the real world. In monopolistic competition, there are still a large number of buyers as well as sellers, but they all do not sell homogeneous products. Rather, the products are similar but not same, and therefore consumers have the preference of choosing one product over another. The sellers can also charge a marginally higher price. since they may enjoy certain pocket power the sellers has become the price setters to a certain extent for example the market for breakfast cereals is an example of monopolistic competition the products are all similar but not same as they are slightly differentiated in the terms of taste and flavors the same can be said in the case of toothpaste soap shampoos and many other consumer products wherein the products are similar but not same like we can give the examples of shampoo that i was talking about you have the shampoo for cleaning hair but the ingredients are said to be different even from the same brand so that is how the monopolistic market works few features of monopolistic competition are this type of market system combines elements of monopoly and perfect competition There are many sellers selling products which are closely related yet differentiated from each other. For example, quality of products may differentiate. Firms have partial control over the price as they are not price takers due to differentiated products or price makers as there are many buyers and sellers in the market. It is similar to peer competition. There is no barrier to competition and large number of suppliers can exist. except that the sellers try to differentiate the offerings based on quality packaging style 
convenience and the place of sale that is the location another example of monopolistic competition is the music industry where many an artist sing songs of the same area or the same base yet each artist is different from each other and can never be a perfect substitute for another artist for example someone who sings a classical music and has a certain voice structure cannot be replaced by another artist we usually always identify an artist by their voice now the third aspect of uh, competitive analysis is the analysis part to understand the competitive market the analysis of the market forces is a must when analyzing competition information may be gathered analyzed and at the same time understood under the following headings number 1 how many numbers of competitors are there in the market ranking of direct competitors by name in terms of size and market share your own company's position in the market what are likely trends in the competitive position is there any competition which is growing faster than the rest is there any competitor who is growing faster than the rest can it influence the competitive positions of each of the players relative strengths and weaknesses of each in comparison to your organization and indirect competitors and their competitive strengths if your organization is the leader in your type of industry it becomes more important to find out whether your competitors are gaining ground and if yes then why If you are not the leader of your industry then compare your strengths and weaknesses with the leaders and others who are ahead of you this analysis would help you identify opportunities and requirements on what should be done so as to challenge the leaders and the industry trend setters the leading brand or organization in industry occupies a position being pioneer and thus get certain advantages such companies easily establish their brand name market share distribution and sales network however early leadership does not provide assurance of continued success such situation is possible at both macro as well as micro levels for example at the macro level airline d was doing very well a few years back had established its brand name had a significant market share and had also established a very good sales network however within a few years its leadership has been challenged and the market share started declining because of competition finally leading to the bankruptcy of the airline similarly at a micro level restaurant g was doing very well but with the opening of new restaurant in the vicinity its market share declined in spite of the many efforts made by their management to add new attraction and to retain or attract new customers in fact while facing such competition the would be challenger attempts to find out how solid is the position of the historical leader and what investment of time money and effort is required to overtake it it is therefore suggested that quantitative and qualitative analysis of competitors would definitely help you in developing appropriate strategies to face your competition effectively and successfully quantitative research methodology this methods generally involve statistical analysis quantitative research is concerned with how much and how many typically it involves larger scale research than qualitative research and as said before statistical methods are used to analyze the final results quantitative methods have numerical basis to test a hypothesis or a generalization this method is usually used on small number of people where the aim is not to generalize too broadly qualitative research methodology qualitative data explores ideas feelings and attitudes it is concerned with answering questions such as what is good about the destination airline Qualitative research is in fact undertaken to provide the basis for designing quantitative research. In literal terms, qualitative means pertaining to quality. Thus, this type of research involves collecting a great deal of rich information about relatively few people 
then limited information about a large number of people. Either one of the methodologies can be used for undertaking competitive analysis of the competition and at times even mixed methodology is used, wherein both the types of methodology, quantitative and qualitative, are used together and in a tandem to find the correct answer. So, let us uh, just uh, go through what we have uh, discussed in this session. Competition is a part of business and it has a significant contribution in the growth of business. But only if the competition is analyzed and scientifically and objectively understood. In this session, we have discussed the meaning of competition and discussed the various types of competition, market structure based on competition, their merits and demerits and the process of analyzing competition. Hopefully, as a tourism professional, you are now in a better position to identify the strengths and weaknesses of your competitors. Best wishes. Thank you.